Hey guys, I'm back for a quick haul. I had to grab some snacks and some items that we ran out of. And I decided, well, Rizzy said that <laughs> she wanted me to do Thanksgiving. It's her and I, and I said, you know what? Mm, let me see what she wants to do for Thanksgiving. We were going to, like, binge watch our little favorite show that came out. And I was going to order something because it's just her and me. So I'm like, okay, let's see. She said, Mommy, I want macaroni and cheese, <laughs> ham. And I want greens and I want cornbread. I said, okay, um, <laughs> so what you want sweet? She said, oh, I said I was going to make some sweet potato pies, but she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided I'm going to make them. And I got a lot of stuff to do around the house. So I'm still going to have our Thanksgiving and I hate to even say Thanksgiving, but I'm still going to have our meal our holiday meal and um i end up getting some pie crust from aldi so we're gonna start on the side i have two things of cheese because i'm just making a little small um a small one and i like mild cheddar because it melts great and, and moderate jack because it melts great so i'm gonna do those we needed more bacon so i got two packs of bacon from aldi i got some buttermilk pancakes from aldi and since it's her and i i'm trying to do stuff like a lot of times doing it yourself and a lot of times um making homemade cost more so i'm a budget channel showing you how to do stuff how to save money and ways to do things that make things more functional and more frugal so with that being said instead of me taking eggs and all that stuff to make pancake mix it's cheaper to just buy pancake mix let's 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 be honest so now what i have been doing is making them ahead of time and freezing them um freezing them separately and then once they get froze put them in a bag so she could grab some out when she don't want when she wants pancakes and i may not be able to make them she can fry them like put some little butter in it thaw them out and fry them in the pan herself we had some cuties. They didn't taste good. I hope these ones did. So I did the double back guarantee and they gave me another bag of cuties and I ended up getting um, strawberries, which he got me because those was $3.49. These were only $2.49. Um, so I ended up losing like, those was $3.90 something, I think. I ended up losing a dollar and some change, but it's all good. They, they can have that. <laughs> so that was my double back guarantee. If you don't know about all these, they do double back guarantees where if something in a store you taste or you don't like it it's just not up to your standards it just don't taste right take it back because they have the twice as nice guarantee that means anything that you buy from all these you get your money back and you get an item cash now if you spend um ebt you get it back on the ebt card i remember because we had pre-ebt and i remember i had to bring something back and they put it back on the card so cash you get it back um cash and if you do a credit card, you can either do cash or a credit card. Um, and I think if you do gift card, I think they do cash or um, gift card. So I also needed some brown sugar for my sweet potato pies. I seen these at Walmart and it was $1.12 and it says peppermint flavor. I just thought that they might be good and some hot chocolate. So I got those. We couldn't find the Krispy Kreme curlers that we used to buy a lot. I think our Walmart stopped selling them. So she just said, get her some donut sticks. And I haven't had these in a long time, and so I just grabbed these. I remember my um, grandma used to get these a long time ago and just have them as little cakes around the holidays and little bowls. So I got those. We needed some cream cheese, so I got two of those. Now, I went to Walmart to get my ham, and I probably have showed y'all the video already. And it was just the same ham, same brand, and same size for $17.80 or $17.30, I think it was. I end up going to save a lot because, oh, Lord, I left my collards in the car. Hold on. Real quick. Hold on. Okay. And actually, they're not even collards. They're turnips. And turnips are a little bit more tender. It's something that most people like to mix with their collards, either mustard and collards or mustard and turnips or, I mean, mustard and collards or turnips and collards. And some people put all three. But I end up getting turnips from Save a Lot. I thought they were a good deal because I didn't know how much the collards were because they didn't have any out at Walmart and they were actually 98 cent when I did go back to return the ham and the ribeye steak. So, well, not the ribeye. I had chuck roast, chuck steak, something, something that I knew that I could make tender and it was, it was affordable. So I ended up taking the ham back to Walmart and I ended up taking the steak back to Walmart because I found some actual ribeyes from save, save a lot for 11.98 and it was a dollar and 20 cent difference so yeah i'd rather get two ribeye steaks 
And I also got this Philly cream cheese. This stuff is so freaking good on regular bagels. And I like them on um, raisin bagels. So the crust from, you get two in a pack. I love that crust. That crust tastes really good. Um, and I do have, if you want a pie crust recipe, my own pie crust recipe, since it's just her and I, I'm just making things real simple and easy because I got a, still a lot of un um, packing to do and some work that needs to be done to get the heat going in the house. So it's a lot that I have to do. So I end up taking the steak and the ham back and I saved like almost six bucks because the ham was like five and some change difference. I found the smoked turkey at um, Save-A-Lot. They didn't have none at Walmart. When I did go back, I was kind of upset <laughs> about the greens. I was like, should I go back? That'd be two dollars. I was like, no, I ain't even got time to be going back and forth. So this is my haul. This is our holiday haul and that's what we're having. Oh, and I got her some hot fries. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. And I got me some raw almonds that I make my almond milk with because the milk the ones i have are literally like i had a bigger bag and look they're like gone so i need to soak some so i can make some almond milk in the morning the strawberries i need to make some more jam because i did use it for her cake her birthday cake um and end up burning the other ones y'all before we left to get on the road like it, it just has been hectic and I needed some sugar for my pies. Um, so basically it. That's it. Oh, and this here. I've seen this lady grabbing a whole bunch of bags of these. And this was only like one something, I think. At um at all these, she was like, oh, my husband said it's so good. It's got like a buttery taste to it. And he was like, it's not really, really hard. I said, oh, let me grab some. I haven't had peanut brittle in a long time. So if you like peanut brittle, go try it out. It's twice as nice. If you don't like it, take it back. Get your money back and get another um item candy bar or something like that because you do have to get something similar so that's why i was able to get strawberries because it was another fruit so this is my haul and that's what we're having i don't know what we having for dinner tonight i don't want to cook those because then i'm doing um no, that'll be two days later when i do that so i don't know i may make the steaks tonight with some potatoes or something but i'm really not in the mood to cook because i got a lot of stuff to do but yeah, this is like a snack haul and the re-up of some things that we need in the house and some items to make my um, holiday meal. So that's it, guys. I think I showed you guys everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel. Oh, oh, and this. We needed a new shower curtain. I still haven't got the doors put up, but I had a Fetch Reward, $10 Fetch Reward. So I ended up getting this. So when I changed the caulk and... um clean out the tub and stuff i'm gonna put this new shower curtain in if you don't know about fetch it is real it is real if you hear people talking about it they're not just talking my link is below in the description this is not sponsored this is just an app that you scan every receipt that you get when you buy something and i'm sure we're going to be buying a lot of stuff through the holidays the link below will give you bonus points and give me bonus points just for having the app um the fetch app and every time you get a receipt every day they let you spin this wheel and you get extra points every time you snap a receipt so it's really good i have gotten so many tj maxx um i usually use mine for tj maxx starbucks or the movie theater amc that's what i use mine for so i did use my fetch rewards to get this and i didn't have to pay nothing for it so yeah that's the haul if you're new to the channel join the family by hitting the subscribe button share the channel i'm the single mom versus the fixer up i share things like this but mainly this channel is about how to how to's and diys and me showing you the journey of making this fixer up my home if you got something to say, talk to me in the comments. I definitely talk back. We don't do negativity over here. I definitely will block you and remove your comments. So I will see you guys later, Gators.